Good day, El Paso. Your local junk caller here, Charlie, a.k.a. Dumpster Daddy. EPDumpsterDaddy.com. Go ahead, check us out over there. Um, I am standing in my truck bed right now. Uh, I got it all cleaned out on Sunday. I had a young man come on over from Juarez. He likes to collect junk, and he likes to take it back over there to Mexico to do whatever he does with it. That ain't none of my business. Uh, I met him a couple weeks ago when I was performing a job and he was riding up and down the street looking for trash. Well, looking for drunk. He doesn't take trash. Uh, so I gave him a call, let him know to come on out to my storage unit um, after we exchanged information. And he took a bunch of mattresses and some other items that I had in there. And then I was able to load up whatever trash I had in the storage unit, get that on up in my trailer. And now we have one job on the books for today. This is an estimate, which will probably turn into a job if I can get the uh, estimate right. Um, it is coming from a local competitor. They weren't able to make it out there to this client for whatever reason. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. That's not why I am. That's not why I am in my trailer talking to you guys. Uh, I'm in my trailer. I'm in my truck bed. <laughs> Uh, I do be in and out of the trailer a lot too, so, you know, forgive me. But I'm in and out of the, my, my, my truck bed, and the reason I'm in here right now is because I wanted to talk to you guys about some of the tools that I use for the business. And, uh, of course, the number one uh, tool that I use, tools that I do use for the business, is the truck and the trailer. Uh, that goes without, you know, being said, but there are some tools that I use to help me get jobs done. And... So for the first part, I want to talk about being in the, the, the truck bed. Uh, when we first got our first truck for the business, the F-150, um, this is all we had. I didn't have the trailer yet. Uh, we did have the cash to go out and buy a truck cash. Um, my severance from the Walt Disney World Company when they let us go in 2020. Um, and then when I decided that I was going to go into business for myself and junk removal was going to be the play, um, got a truck bed. Shortly thereafter, we put uh, and we put some sidewalls on it. We did some shopping. We went and found the strongest plywood we could at the time uh, at Home Depot. Uh, we cut it up, fitted it around the truck bed. Uh, here, where I have this back rack rack at, uh, I used a pallet that I got from Sam's, and then I used some of the screws and tools and things that I had. You know, when we put this uh, sidewall project together, I screwed the pallet on right here and this is where i have my tools so when i got the new truck just went on ahead and got the back rack put that on there but the first you know tools that we used for the business was of course to haul the trash away was the bed of the truck so i say all that you know to tell you guys if you're out there and you're starting a junk removal business or a small business in general and you you know have a truck or you can get a truck you know i, I would say get a truck if i, if, 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 I tell my homeboy Darren, we have us, you know, our own channel where we talk about things going on in our lives and, you know, relationship and, you know, business and all that type of stuff. Um, but I told him if if, if I was a young, if, if I could give advice to my younger self when it came to getting a vehicle, because, you know, I grew up in the Midwest during the time where, you know, we, we was riding Cadillacs, Lincolns, you know, luxury cars like that. You know, I grew up with my dad. Oh, keep hitting that thing. Don't want to fall. Um, grew up with my dad, that's what he had. He had always had us in Cadillac, Chryslers, you know, uh, Lincolns, things like that. So I grew up, you know, riding a little bit luxury. <laughs> but if I was a young man, I did have some uncles who had trucks and I didn't realize at that time that you could make a whole lot of money with a truck, whether it be doing what I do, hauling trash, you could, you could, you know, move people with it. Uh, my homeboy, Darren, he is looking at um, getting him a truck, too, as well, when he does food, he does catering. I told him there are, you know, vehicles out there that you could look at that might be a little bit more advantageous for that. But with the versatility of the truck, you know, he, I told him, I said, bro, you could do what I do. You can do what you do and, you know, make meals, load them up in the truck bed, go somewhere and, and you know, um, deliver your meals, whatever it is. Uh, you know, there's so many options that you could use the truck for. So if I was a 40 year old man, I am a 40 year old man and I'm talking to my 20 year old self because when I was 20, you know, 18, 19, 20, I did go away to school for a bit, but then I came back and I was a, a shoe salesman and I sold shoes and I was living at home with my parents and uh, had no rent, had no real bills. They didn't make me pay 
uh, for food. I didn't have no utilities. Now, there did come a time where me and my dad had a talk and, you know, he said that I was going to have to give them some money for the utilities, uh, maybe give them a little bit of money to stay there. But when I moved out, I remember them giving me that money or using that money to help me even get a car to move down to Florida. But that's that's a whole different story. Um, but I would definitely tell my younger self to get you a truck. I can show you how to make some money with it. I can show you what I do. Um, you can you can learn from me, uh, you know, do you know, doing what I do and then translate that into whatever it is that you want to do. But definitely get a truck bed because that is a money maker right there. Uh, I told my boy Darren that you could do what you do. You could work your full time job that will pay your rent, pay for your insurance and all that type of stuff. But if you get a truck and you market it the right way, market your business the right way, whatever it is that you want to get into, uh, that truck can possibly pay for itself. This truck, this truck bed, along with the trailer and me putting in work to advertise the business and things like that, this being a part of it, um, the truck is able to pay for pay for itself and I pay it weekly. It is a heavy truck note, but oh well, it's the price to do a business. I could have went used. I could have went used like we did when we bought our first truck, but I didn't want to have to do that. You know, I just went on ahead and went to the dealership, got us a brand new truck. And we rocking and rolling the truck, the brand new truck, even though it is brand new, still has its own issues. But, you know, that's the advice that I would give to myself. These are the tools that I use. And I'm going to start with the truck first, the truck bed, the truck itself first, because that's how I started. Uh, the next piece of the puzzle will be talking about uh, the tools that I use and that I bought when starting the business and, and how I went about doing that. So, you know, I know that some of you guys have been listening and have heard before uh, me tell that story but uh, i'm gonna get into it in depth and then pull out the tools and show you guys uh, my thought process when buying the tools who i was listening to at the time when getting those tools so that's going to be part two of this topic uh, hopefully uh, the young man that came over from Juarez when he, he had him a truck i think it was a it was an old school silverado it was running it was loud but it was running he had that truck, didn't have no sidewalls on it either, but he had stuff stacked all the way up to the sky. And you know, you could see blue. And I'm talking about all around the truck. The mattresses was on the hood of the truck. Everything else that he could fit into that truck bed with the tailgate down. I have, I have done that too, filled it up the truck bed so much that we got to use the, our ratchet straps to strap everything down and hold it with the truck bed down like that. So. He got really creative. I did capture a little video of, of us both working, but mainly trying to get some video of him so I can show you how he did it and how I was doing it when I first started. But anyway, I'm gonna get on up all out of here, start putting together the, 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 the content for the second video. Thank you all for making it this far. If you made it this far, like and subscribe. Dumpster Daddy out.